It's hard to believe we're already on part three of this nickel hunt and fill, if you will. But I just can't control myself because I'm eagerly anticipating filling a few more spots in this Dance Code Jefferson nickel album. That being said, these three nickel boxes, while producing a lot of 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s nickels, have been really light as far as anything in the 40s and 50s, as well as been skunkers on buffaloes and war nickels. Hoping this box changes all that. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and it's right, we're already on part three of this Nickel Hunt and Fill series. Now if you have not watched parts one and two, I'll have links to them down below. You might wanna catch up on those before you watch this one. For those that have seen those already, you'll recall that we're in the process of filling up this entire nickel collection from as few boxes as possible. Now we've done two boxes so far, all the 90s, all the 80s, all the 70s nickels are done, including most of the 60s, except for a nice 61P and a 60P. We've made a dent in some of the later 50s and some of the 40s as well, including a 1939P, but no key dates, semi-key dates, war nickels to speak of, and we still have some common dates we haven't found yet through two boxes. All right, enough of that. Let's close up the book for now. We'll reopen this later on in the hunt, but let's get a live opening on this box right now. All right, here we go. We have been struggling for enders and anything fancy in these three boxes so far, just like I'm struggling opening this box so far. But we'll get it open eventually, somehow, some way. There we go. And as is true to my area, I don't see a lot of enders, but it doesn't matter. It's not on the outside that matters. It's what's on the inside that matters. I do see some older Jefferson designs, so that makes me excited. Maybe we got some 40s and 50s in this box. All right, I'll push it back, clean up this flap, and we'll begin the hunt. Roll two of the box is gonna kick us off early with a 50s nickel, and it's a 1952 Denver. Roll number eight, we've got another oldie. This one, a 1939. Now we already have a Philly in the book. It's not in the greatest shape. It might upgrade, maybe not, but I'd rather it have a mint mark. And it doesn't, but we can still check it for the variety. There's a DDR for the 1939 year. And there is some heavy damage there is some heavy damage, but I don't see the doubling. It would be on the words Monticello and five cents, and I just don't see it. We just see some damage. Either way, 1939 Philly, we already have it. We'll have to see if it upgrades. Roll number 10, we've got another 40s nickel, and this one is a 1941 Philly, which we already have, but this might be an upgrader. It's not in that bad of shape. Roll 11, we've got a 40s nickel, 1946, Philadelphia. Roll 13, and I'm a little excited because we might have our first war nickel of the hunt. We do, 1945, Denver. Pretty beat up, but it doesn't matter. Any silver is good silver, especially for the album. This could be a good sign, or I could be wrong, but roll 15, I just squeezed it open, and uh, we might have a second war nickel. No, it's not. It's not. It's a 1998. I'll leave this clip in. Mistakes were made. Dang it. Roll 18, we have an early Jefferson, and this one is a 1940 Denver. We'll take it. Roll number 20, and we had no 53s in the book until now, which is odd because I find them often. 1953, and that's going to be a 53S. Only a 19.2 million of those minted, and we got one. Roll 21, and we've been finding these, though, lately. 
1957 Denver. Few coins right behind it. A nice 1957 Denver. That'll probably upgrade the album. Roll number 23, and we finally got our first beaver of the box. A 1989 Canadian nickel. Roll 24, and we've got a 1955 nickel here, and uh, we have the Denver. Do we have the Philly? We don't. 1955 D. Roll 45, and we've just uncovered a 1940 nickel. And who knows what's going on with it. We'll just set it to the side. It won't go in the book, and it's not a keeper regardless. Same roll a few coins later, and we've got a 1949 S, I believe. Let's take a peek. And it is 1949 S. We know we didn't have that one, and now we do. We're on roll 33, and for those wondering when the fill part comes into this video, I'm going to do the filling of the album last so we can see how many I added from this box. But I bring in because in this roll, we have another 50s nickel and it's a 1954 S. 1954 S. I do have one in the book. It's that damaged one from the last box. This is not much better, but at least it's not damaged. Same roll and we got a 1953 Philly for the board. Roll 35. Another 54. Denver. Roll 38. We've got a 1947 Philadelphia. I said 38 on the last clip. That was roll 37. We're now on roll 38. And the reason why I remember this roll is because it's a hard one to forget. We've got a Buffalo nickel minted in Philadelphia. Not a lot of detail on the horn, but there is some detail. It's probably going to be in the late 30s. No. 1927 Philadelphia. I will take that all day. It's not a key or semi-key date, but it is a dated 20s Buffalo nickel with some decent detail for sure. I will take that all day. We've got a war nickel and a Buffalo nickel in the same box with 12 rolls to go. Still roll 38 and uh, we just got ourselves another 39. No mint mark. Is there a DDR? No DDR and no mint mark, but another 30s nickel in the box. And since I have it here, let's check this one really quick. That's in the 90s. And this one really quick. No mint mark, but it is a 56. We'll take a 56 for the Colección. Well, the box is definitely getting hotter towards the end of the box. 11 rolls left, though, which is still a good sign. Roll 39 is going to have another 39. Can we get a mint mark? We cannot. It's tough to find those key dates and the DDRs. Which it is not. No mint mark. Third 39. Philly of the box. Roll 44 and we've got another one of our friends here. A 1957 Denver. Same roll and another Canadian nickel. Almost missed it. 1986. Oddly enough, I feel like all the Canadian nickels we found have all been in the 80s in these three boxes. Roll 45, and oddly enough, I feel like the majority of the 50s nickels have all been 1957. This one, Denver again. Roll 46, and we've got a 1955. Be nice if it would be a semi-key date 55 Philly, but it's not. 55 Denver. Same roll, and uh, yep. Another 1957. From Philly this time. Roll 48, had me going for a second, thought it might have been a 39, but it's a 59. 59 Philly. I don't think I have a 59 Philly. That's a good find. 
Roll 49, and we're going to get a nicer 1954. 54 Denver. Might be an upgrader. Same roll, and roll 49 will produce another 49. And this one is a Denver, so I can check it for the D over S. Which it is not, but it's still a 49 D. The final roll didn't give us any more goodies, but it was a good box. 16 in the 50s, 7 in the 40s, a war nickel and a buffalo, which I'll zoom in on those for you because those are the finds of the box. We'll take those all day. 3 in the 30s, 2 Canadians, and one more 09D like we've been getting. I also set aside some 90s Philadelphia minted nickels because I know the album needs better ones, and some other 60s that I think we might need. So let me go ahead now before we do anything else and comb through these, pull out the best ones, and bring you back in to see what we upgrade and what holes we fill. So for the 90s, I'm going to upgrade the 90P, the 91P, the 91D, the 94P, the 95P, the 97P, and the 98P. They're not higher, higher quality upgrades. Some are, but they are better examples. Let me upgrade those and then move on to the 60s next. So in the 60s, I found a better 63D and a better or slightly better 63P. Not much, but it is a little bit better. We also found a book filler 61P and a 60P. So let me update those for, and then I'll see what I can update in the 50s and the 40s. For the 50s, I'll be adding a 59P. We did not have one. I'll also be updating the 57D. Remember, we have a nice 57P, and now we have a nice 57D. I'll also be updating the 56P and the 55D, because this 55D has the ring of death on it. Even though it's slightly a better strike, it does have the ring of death. We'll upgrade the 54S, barely, because the other one has damage. We'll get a better 54D in there. We'll add a 53S. We'll add a 53P, and we'll update the 52D. Let me get those done, and then we'll do the 40s. So we've got some additions and some upgrades for the 40s. I'll be adding that semi-key date 49S and the 49D. We'll also be adding the 47. I'll be upgrading slightly the 46. This one has damage, and so does the other one. So I don't know if I'll be updating it for sure. I'll have to look at it a little bit closer. We'll be adding that 45D silver war nickel, upgrading the 41P, adding the 40D, and I think my 39P that we found in this box, one of the three, is slightly better than that one, so I'll upgrade that. Let me get those upgraded and give you a total count. We had 95 of the 138 possible nickels in this book filled before this hunt. Let me give you a new total on it next. All right, here's the Dansko Nickel Album collection, if you will. We have now filled 105 of the 138 spots. That means we added 10 more nickels we didn't have to this from that box, including probably another 15 upgraders, if you will. I'm happy that we got the Silver War Nickel and the semi key date 49S, two toughies out of the way. I'm also happy that we got a Buffalo nickel dated, of course, 1927 Philly. I'm super happy with the progress on this. And because it's so much fun, again, filling a book, because I haven't had to fill a nickel book in a while, I think we'll keep this series going. Now, obviously, it'll take me a little bit of time to get some more nickel boxes. But if we got them doing one at a time, we'll do that as well. It'll be harder to update and upgrade and add to this album the further along we get because eventually all we'll need is war nickels, key dates, and semi-key dates, assuming we don't get the sporadic ones like we did in that box here and there. Hopefully you enjoyed this nickel hunt and fill. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching. Just because we added a war nickel to that nickel album doesn't mean we have to neglect adding one to the 2020 silver jar.